कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग सिचुएशन फॉर इक्विपमेंट ओन्ड बाई ए कंपनी द ओरिजिनल कॉस्ट इज टू लैख डॉलर द एक्यूमुलेटेड डेप्रिशिएशन इज फिफ्टी थाउजेंड डॉलर द अनडिस्काउंटेड एक्सपेक्टेड फ्यूचर कैश फ्लो इज वन लैख सिक्सटी थाउजेंड द फेयर वैल्यू ऑफ द एसेट इज वन लैख सेवेंटी थाउजेंड द वैल्यू इन यूज इज वन लैख फोर्टी थाउजेंड एंड द सेलिंग कॉस्ट इज थर्टी फाइव थाउजेंड द इम्पेयरमेंट लॉस अंडर आई एफ आर एस इज सो दिस इज द क्वेश्चन फॉर लॉन्ग लिव एसेट सो अंडर लॉन्ग लिव एसेट the asset value is the asset value is minimum of carrying value that is historical cost or original cost minus accumulated depreciation or net realizable value or value in use whichever is greater so it is minimum of historical cost minus accumulated depreciation that is 2 lakh minus 50000 that is 1 lakh 50000 dollars or maximum of in net realizable value my net realizable value is my fair value minus my selling cost that is 1 lakh 35000 maximum of 1 lakh 35 thousand dollars or my value in use that is 1 lakh 40 thousand and minimum of this figure so it will be equivalent to minimum of 1 lakh 50 thousand and the maximum of these two values is 1 lakh 40 thousand so we can see that this value is the minimum and the carrying value is greater than this this value so in the balance sheet the asset is written down to this value 1 lakh 40000 and the difference of 10000 between its carrying value and the value in use is reported as a loss in the income statement so in this case the company will incur a loss of Ten thousand rupees. So the option is correct. The net realizable value is nothing but the fair value of the asset minus the selling cost. Whereas the value in use is actually the discounted future expected future cash flows.